Have you ever wondered how the motifs of ancient Egypt ended up in Spain? Picture this, a 2700-year-old Spanish site revealing an artifact personifying an ancient Egyptian goddess. This isn't a scene from a fantasy novel, but a reality that archaeologists at the University of Salamanca stumbled upon. It's a fascinating puzzle, these ancient Egyptian motifs nestled in the heart of Spain. So, how did these motifs make their way to Spain? Let's unravel this mystery. The discovery occurred at the University of Salamanca in the Cerro de San Vicente site in central Spain. A remarkable artifact emerged from the dust and debris, a gold-leaf ceramic piece believed to embody the ancient Egyptian goddess Hathor. This piece, though small, measuring around 5 centimeters, held a wealth of history within its golden sheen. Hathor, the daughter of the sun god Ra, and the mother of the falcon-headed deity Horus, played a significant role in ancient Egyptian mythology. This artifact, researchers believe, might have been part of a larger statue of Hathor. It's a tantalizing hint at the cultural exchange that might have occurred between ancient Egypt and the inhabitants of this Spanish site over 2,700 years ago. But the gold-leaf ceramic piece was not alone. It was discovered alongside a treasure trove of antiquities including amulets, painted ceramics and other motifs that bore the unmistakable imprint of Egyptian and Mediterranean roots. These artifacts, each a piece of a larger story, were found scattered throughout a three-roomed building at the site. Among the other relics discovered was a shark's tooth, a poignant reminder of the sea that once covered this land. Necklace beads, shards of clay, all remnants of a civilization that once thrived here. Interestingly, this wasn't the first artifact of Hathor found at this location. Another piece depicting the same goddess was unearthed in the previous year, suggesting a significant presence of Hathor worship in the region. For over 30 years, archaeologists have been meticulously excavating this Spanish site near the Torms River. The latest discoveries have only added to the intrigue and mystery surrounding this ancient community. The researchers leading the excavations believe that the inhabitants of this ancient site deliberately destroyed their place of residence, leaving behind a puzzle for future generations to solve. This astounding discovery has left archaeologists and historians intrigued. The gold-leaf ceramic piece along with the other antiquities found at the site, offers a tantalizing glimpse into the rich tapestry of cultural exchange that existed between ancient civilizations. It's a testament to the enduring power of history and the fascinating stories it continues to tell. But why is this discovery so significant, you might ask? Well, to understand its importance we first need to dive into the mythology of ancient Egypt. The artifact in question is believed to represent the goddess Hathor, a central figure in Egyptian mythology. She was considered the daughter of the sun god Ra and the mother of Horus, a falcon-headed deity. Hathor was revered as a goddess of the sky and of women, often symbolizing joy, feminine love, and motherhood. Her significance in the ancient Egyptian pantheon cannot be overstated. Now imagine finding a piece of this rich Egyptian mythology, not in the sands of Egypt, but thousands of miles away, in central Spain. This suggests a fascinating possibility. An ancient cultural exchange or influence between Egypt and the Mediterranean world. The presence of this artifact, along with other Egyptian motifs in Spain, hints at a connection that we're only beginning to understand. It's like finding a piece of a jigsaw puzzle you didn't even know was missing. Suddenly, the picture of our past becomes a little clearer, a little more interconnected. It's a reminder of how cultures can influence and shape each other across vast distances and over extensive periods. Imagine the journey this small artifact must have taken over 2,700 years ago. From the hands of an Egyptian artisan to a Spanish settlement, it's a testament to the reach of ancient civilizations and the intermingling of cultures. It also raises intriguing questions about the ancient community that once inhabited the site near the Tormes River in Spain. Why did they have this artifact? What was their relationship with Egypt? And how did this influence their own culture and beliefs? These are questions that archaeologists will continue to explore as they unravel the mysteries of our shared past. The discovery of this artifact in Spain is a testament to the far-reaching influence of ancient Egyptian culture. It's a tangible reminder that the world of our ancestors was much more interconnected than we often imagine, and it's a promise of more fascinating discoveries to come as we continue to dig deeper into the sands of time. The site of the discovery near the Tormes River has been under excavation for three decades, Archaeologists, braving the elements and the passage of time, have been meticulously unearthing the secrets held within this ancient location. The relics discovered here speak volumes, 
each artifact a piece of the historical puzzle. Among the interesting finds at the site are not just the Egyptian motifs but also a varied collection of other items. These include a shark's tooth, a testament to the area's ancient marine life, and necklace beads, providing a glimpse into the aesthetic values of the community that once thrived here. Shards of clay, meanwhile, offer clues into the daily lives and practices of the people, their homes, and their crafts. However, the excavation isn't just about the items unearthed. It's also about understanding the behaviors and actions of this ancient community. Researchers leading the excavations have an intriguing theory. They believe that the inhabitants of this ancient community deliberately destroyed their place of residence. The reasons behind this act remain a mystery, but it poses fascinating questions. Did they do it as part of a ritual, or were they trying to erase their own history? The possibilities are as varied as the artifacts found. The archaeological site continues to reveal new insights into ancient cultures and their connections. Each layer of dirt removed unveils a new chapter in our shared human story, linking the distant past to our present. So, there you have it, a 2700-year-old mystery unraveled. The discovery of this gold-leaf ceramic piece, believed to personify the Egyptian goddess Hathor, has added another fascinating layer to our understanding of the ancient world. Found amidst amulets, painted ceramics, and other motifs with Egyptian and Mediterranean roots at the Cerro de San Vicente site in central Spain, this artifact is a testament to the far-reaching influence of ancient Egyptian culture. For three decades, archaeologists have been meticulously excavating this Spanish site near the Tormes River, revealing a wealth of antiquities that hint at a vibrant, interconnected ancient society. The inhabitants of this ancient community may have deliberately destroyed their place of residence, but they left behind a trove of secrets for us to uncover, piece by piece. These discoveries serve as a constant reminder of how interconnected our world has been throughout the ages. Who knows what other secrets the ancient world still holds for us to discover? Imagine